Okay. So Tunk and Gale, uh, we have a, uh, a floor and wall tiling business called Decorated Earth. Uh, we're in Byron Bay, Australia. Um, we've been in business for probably about 27 years now. Um, and with us included, there is uh, nine of us. So we have, um, for the first time, an admin in the part-time in the office. <laughs> and um, so we have two tradespeople, we have three apprentices and a, and a labourer. Yep. Cool. Okay. So just explain what life was like before you joined the program when we first talked. Um, my wife's office, yeah, no, I will, um, <laughs> because she was, uh, well, what can I life say? Life was very easy. Life was easy. Um, <laughs> it, it has changed. It has changed. Um, we're still looking for the lifestyle bit, yep. um, but it's become a lot clearer and, and, and knowing what to do. What, what was the situation when we first talked? Where were you at with the business and how oh, were things going? It, it was very hectic and, and sort of unorganised and not really a, a clear vision of where it was all going and what was possible really. Cool. Okay, so mm. just talk us through some of the changes you've made over the last three or four months. I'd love to hear. Wow, well, it's only been 90 days. Um, so in that 90 days, we actually have, there's been so many changes. Um, I think firstly, the, the biggest change was, it was a light bulb moment. It was like, and actually it was more, as my new admin says, it was more like a bonfire. <laughs> it was like, we've just been doing this business as a family for 27 years and he does an awesome job and we've just been we've had Tyler's come and go and we've had great teams um, really positive um, everyone's very positive our mindset has always been very positive we're very aware and conscious people but we actually when you get down to the nitty-gritty the business side of things we just did and I did MYOB and things because I learn it by rote and I've got this awesome bookkeeper that comes in on my computer and fixes up my mess and really once things get done I would just go and get my coconut chai to be honest that, that's what I it was great and Hunk would just go to work and now we have so many procedures in place and the systems in place so Fergus and pre-checklists and even down for the apprentices, grouting and what they need to do. So everything's become really clear. It's been a really um, big thing for our boys, especially for the two qualified tilers. This is a huge change for them. So it's not only a journey for us, it's really been us really bringing them in to understand that this is kind of like the last 10 years that we've got. We've had 27 and it's been really nice. And now we're looking at the other end, which is also a bit confronting, that it's like, what can we make of it? So Fergus is in place, and Hunk's getting really good at that, and uh, Jody in the office is really um, great with that too, so they're working really closely with that. Um, we've got folders for the boys that, um, that have our quote letter, our new quote letter, that actually goes with each quote now, which is quite amazing, which basically just, I think it was about what's our point of difference because we live in a very beautiful part of the East Coast. It's very transient and there's a lot of tilers because you can come in and surf in the summer and you can make you know a few grand a week and they probably don't have our overheads. So there's a lot of people that come down from the Gold Coast and so we have a lot of competition including tilers that we've trained that have gone out on their own businesses in the same area. Um, we won't go there, um, <laughs> it's all good, there's enough for everybody. Um, so everything has become very precise and very detailed for, for all of us. Um, there's so many changes, uh, yep. I haven't even touched on okay, half and, of them. And uh, in terms of how you manage the, the numbers of your business, how have you changed that? Well that's not my answer. Okay, <laughs> give it to Hunt. Okay. Um, well, this morning was a bit of an eye opener, yeah. to be yep. honest. Cool. Um, well, the only thing I can see is that there's still so much room for improvement. You know, um, the one thing for me is that um, just just 
pricing for profit. You know, instead of trying to get the job, you actually have a look at the numbers and go like, okay, well, I need to do this to actually make a bit of money. Yep. And and for the first time that you can see that, you know, like apart from being always extremely passionate about tiling, mm. but now it's it's a, it's a business and I need to treat it like that. Yep. And and um, I'm getting there. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. That was the, the, the whole mindset change. That sure. was yeah. Yeah, quite a yeah. bit. Let's just talk about that actually for a minute. So I think that has been a big switch. What yeah. what have been the mindset changes that you've made over the last 90 days? Um, well, that I'm worth it, mm, you know. Huge. You know, I'm, I'm, we're, we're doing a really good job, and we're high quality, and um, and yeah, we're worth it. You know, that was a big thing. Yeah. Um, and and seeing it as a business, that was really big as well. Instead of just you know trying to get it right, but actually seeing it as a business, trying to make a bit of money. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Um, there's always been. We've always had, you know, like big visions, you know, but it was really good to get reminded that it's okay to dream, mm. you know, and, and, and see certain things. So that's been really big. Awesome. Mm. Okay. Uh, and so what are the results of the changes that you've made for, for you guys, both for business and, and how that's affected you and your, your outlook on things? Um, yeah, there's not a lot of time yet. There's still, you know, like a, a lot to do. Yeah, for um, sure. But with you know, with Fergus and stuff like that, is is you can see that once it's all in place, you know, I can come home and and just chill instead of do all the other yeah. stuff. Um, trying to spend a bit more time on the things that are important, less on the tools. Yep. Um, anything else? I'm at, I'm at home a lot more. <laughs> yeah, drinking less chai, <laughs> and, and decided to be committed. Yeah, because when we f when we first talked, you were like, "Oh, this is kind of this thing. It's like more of a pain in the ass, to be honest." <laughs> yeah. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, that's very fair. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's very fair. It's a very nice way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you wouldn't yeah. do it that way. I wouldn't do it that way. <laughs> no, yeah. it was a decision for me. It's like I'm much more comfortable if anyone's having a baby. I'll be there and I'll support you. And that's really my passion is more heart-based, without a doubt, that I'm more about being in service on that level with women and families and adolescents. And I had to make a choice about was I actually going to be helpful in this? And was I, did I have the mind space to actually really stay at home and be in the office and really get my head around all of the other tasks? Um, and I guess, and I had been a carer of my mum and she just passed away a few months ago, so I was in that space of a deep grief and thinking, wow, can I do this? And I've done it. And I think I've done it with a great admin, although I have to be honest, it was not through the script and it was a friend. And I know in the beginning that it was a, it was a real conflict for me because I wanted someone so much better than me in the office because I needed a leader. And I kind of compromised on a level with that, but I thought I'd need to trust why I did that in initially. And I had to trust because of the emotional state I was in, having someone in the office that would cope with me crying at various times for no reason and everything. And I had to really go, I don't want someone I don't know that just has this crazy boss who knows they're in grief and they're crying all the time. And they're trying to implement something they're not really that interested in. But it was really a... A moment of saying he's been doing this for so long for our family and it was my time to go okay this is actually some a way that I can support him because he cooks as well <laughs> so I go well I can yeah, actually yeah. um, <laughs> I can support him and so it, it it's been great having Jodie because yeah. she's we're very giving so we do things that she just goes oh my god what are you doing? What are you doing? So we're working on it. We're yeah. working on it. Yeah. yeah. If you feel like that, just give me a ring. I'll help you out. Yeah. I'm good at that. Yeah. She's good at that good. too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. Well done. It's been a big shift, particularly even getting help and all that sort of stuff is huge. So you've come a long way. It's, it's fantastic. Any questions for Hank and Gail? Linda. Hi, um, my question is just around your letter that you do for the point of difference. Just wondered what key things you put in that, because we all have those thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. I think mainly because we've been in the area for 27 years and because it is transient, 
um, that we're actually there to stay. Um, the point of difference is one of the big jobs we got, which was Element Stage 2, which was a, a huge commercial job. And that was the other step that Decorated Earth took, was that we didn't just remain domestic with our builders. We actually went commercial, which I go, why didn't we actually do that like a long time ago? Because our life would really be very different right now. But having that one job was really huge and then having another um, more commercial job too um, of a very prestigious hotel and spa. So they're the things that we've pointed out. We've pointed out that we, um, we well, I mean, yeah, that there's quality, there's aftercare service. Pretty much it's been for as long as it's needed because we've been there for so long. Um, yeah, I think it's been more about the, the quality our just yeah, the commitment, the, commitment um, the return of service if necessary, we're always there and things like that. Because our, there's only about 18,000 population in Byron. So it's been really about yeah, building ourselves up actually. The quote letter really builds us up. So it took us a little while to really actually send it. We had to really sit with it and fully, fully believe it before we could send it with a quote. Is that something you'd be able to pop on the membership page? Sure. Have a look at? Yeah, just yep. pop it up. Yeah, cool. Any other questions? <coughs> Great. Awesome. Got away free. Got away. Nice work, team. Yeah, yeah it's Thank a pleasure. You. Good stuff. Hi, Tony from Profitable Trader here. Now, good on you for watching this training video. I know it'll be helpful for you to improve the results you're getting in your trades business. You're here because you're interested in getting better results from your business. Now, whether that means making more profit, or freeing up time or improving your systems so that the business is less reliant on you. Now our free resources, they'll certainly help with this. But if you want to make changes faster, look I invite you to have a game plan session with us. Now what we'll do on that call is we'll dig deep into how you could apply our proven million dollar tradey system to get the results that you want from your business even quicker. Now on that session we'll do three things. Now first, we'll get clear picture on what you want your business to look like and your life when business is running at full potential. Now the clearer picture we have on what you want, the easier it is for us to build you a plan to actually get you there. Second, we'll look at how things are going right now. Now we'll look deep into your pricing and your financials, your systems, your marketing, and your team performance. So we know what's working for you now and what's not working, and what you've tried in the past as well. Third, we'll identify the roadblocks that are holding you back, and we'll create you a step-by-step -step game plan with specific strategies that you need to implement and in what order, as I know where to start, it's actually often the hardest part. Now you'll leave feeling clear, confident and excited about taking your business to the next level. So take a moment right now and click on the link on the page. Now it'll take you to a form where you can tell us a little bit about your situation and then you can choose a time that suits to create your game plan session. Now the game plan session, it's free and we're happy to help. Now you might be thinking, why would we do this for free? It's really simple. We know that for a certain percentage of you, you'll be interested in working with us to help you implement the plan that we map out. Now, if that's not you, no problem at all. You'll walk away with a real plan to do this on your own. But the only way to get the plan is to complete the form and choose a time that suits for us to create your game plan. Now, there is one small catch. A million dollar trading system works best for a certain type of person. Now, you need to own a trade business. That's a plumbing or electrical, or painting or glazing or tiling or landscaping or similar trade business. Uh, unfortunately, this is not for builders, so if you're a builder, uh, this is not for you. You also need to have been in business for at least a year and have an established business, and you need to be turning over at least $40,000, anywhere up to four or $500,000 a month. And you have to have a can-do attitude. Now, if you meet these criteria, click the link on the page now. Now, we're looking forward to meeting you and seeing how our million dollar trading system can help your business go to the next level.